hello everyone uh, welcome to this video uh, this is the first ever video of the playlist problem of the day so alternative days i'll be posting the questions uh, and the solution as well only one question so that i feel like uh, it's a new conceptual questions that we do usually don't see any books or uh, we don't see any teacher explaining this type of questions so basically i only deal with those questions in this playlist it's not for any exam oriented like it's not for any specific exam oriented it's like something learning uh, new things in math uh, so that's what uh, that's what the reason main reason why i have created this playlist so i just i will just uh, i will just list out all the question uh, like the examinations where you can see this type of problem first of all let's get a look onto the question so if they are asking for the minimum radius of the sphere passing through these three points 1 comma 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 comma 0 0 comma 0 comma 1 so these are the three points so minimum radius of this pier so it's what being asked in the question so first thing i wanted to tell you is yeah first thing is the examinations where we can see this type of questions okay first exam is kvpy second is isi third one cmi so we can have uh, a high use level of uh, chance of these questions coming in these examinations okay so because we usually don't see this question in any of our textbook because we have only circles uh, to be there uh, in for our class 12th level but still going into the depths of uh, 3d we find spear also so we there is equal chance like get a chance for this question to come in kvpy as well as isi and cmi and there is a least chance i would say even it, there is no probability even but we can consider that it may even come in je advance so it may even come in je advance so these uh, things you can make a note of it uh, because it can be helpful for you like uh, to refer these type of question for this examination before you step into those examinations preparation and all and the second thing is the concepts that are we will be discussing in this question is spear formula equation of spear i mean and second is maxima minima concept maxima minima concept i don't teach this concept here but we use these two in this okay it's a uh, vital question uh, where you find the mixture of 3d as well as uh, application of derivative concept so coming to the next place i'll just go to the next place for the solution so let's begin the solution so first thing that you make an, uh, you need to start with is of course the equation of sphere because we have been given with three points so let's substitute and uh, uh, get three equations and then solve them so i will write that equation in a slant way so that i can uh, you can have a, a whole look of the equation in a straight line so it is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2ux plus 2vy plus 2wz is equal to zero is the equation of the sphere okay so it is a equation of the sphere now just substitute those points which are given to us okay just substitute those points you get three equations let me list out those equations one plus two u plus d is equal to zero is the first equation one plus two v plus d is equal to zero is the second equation one plus two z sorry it's two w plus d is equal to 0 is the third equation okay just solve these three equations you get the value to be u is equal to v is equal to w is equal to minus 1 minus d by 2 okay so you can come to this conclusion basically uh, this is u is equal to v is equal to w is equal to d uh, is equal to minus 1 minus d by 2 is the values that we are getting and come to the next space yeah come to the next place so we have now been asked in the question about radius so radius of this sphere is u square plus v square plus w square minus d okay so it's uh, way similar to the formula that we have read in 2d 
isn't it it's just an addition of uh, an extra term because we have the z component in 3d so that's the reason so just substitute the things that we have got so we get 3 of minus 1 minus d by 2 whole square minus d so it's 3 of 1 plus d by 2 whole square minus d isn't it so i can write this as 3 by 4 isn't it 3 by 4 plus into 1 plus d whole square minus 4d isn't it because this 4 uh, this d isn't in, it not, isn't in our bracket so we have written in it in this way and also we can write this as 3 by 4 of isn't it 3 by 4 of d plus 1 by 3 whole square minus 8 by 9 the whole thing okay yes i'm writing in this way so that we can i can explain you the concept of maxima and minima also you can just solve it by the you by differentiating the quadratic that we want to get and that's also an easy method but this is the method that i wanted to teach where you usually don't see i just wanted to touch all those methods where you people where we usually don't see those i just wanted to make give you a large view of mathematics that we usually don't see so this is the quadratic that we get so i can assume this to be g of x okay so this is the term for r square so this is the term for r square so i can the in the question it's been asked that to find the minimum value of radius so if i find the minimum value of g of x i would get the minimum value of r square so just find out that come to the next space so we have that g of x to be we have g of x to be d plus 1 by 3 whole square minus plus 8 by 9 okay this is the thing so for this to be minimum i can make sure that d plus 1 by 3 should be minimum isn't it because this is a square term i cannot even subtract anything from here because it's a addition term that we have adding uh, so we need to find the minimum value of this so i need to make sure d plus 1 by 3 whole square should be minimum so that minimum can only be zero isn't it because this whole square terms only come be always be positive and the positive terms start from zero so that's the reason it can be minimum when d plus 1 by 3 whole square is minimum that is it is 0 so that means d should be equal to minus 1 by 3 so when d equal to minus 1 by 3 we get the radius to be minimum so when uh, we got so if we got d to be minus 1 by 3 just put those values in u v w so u is equal to v is equal to w is minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 that's what we have got from the first equation so it's basically minus 4 by 6 it is minus 3 by 2 isn't it so it's minus uh, sorry i'll there's some mistake in my side so it's basically minus 1 minus 3 by 3 into 2 we get minus 4 by 6 which is nothing but minus 2 by 3 isn't it guys so this is what we have got right now so these are the values of u comma v comma w so now just substitute this uh, okay just substitute this in the values that uh, like in the radius formula just substitute this u comma v comma w in the radius formula okay so substituting that uh, we can go to the next space yeah so substituting that we get r square first of all let me please write that formula r square is equal to u square plus v square plus w square minus d isn't it u square plus v square plus w square minus d now put the values of uh, what we have got in the first equation like minus 1 minus minus 1 by 3 minus 1 divided by uh, 2 actually there's a mistake in from my side here so it's actually d is equal to minus 1 by 3 but in the question we have been given uh, minus d minus 1 by 2 so it's 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 so it's 1 minus 3 by uh, 2 which is plus uh, sorry it should be minus even so it should be minus 1 by sorry minus 2 by 6 which is equal to minus 1 by 3 so just substitute them in this formula so it we get 1 by 9 
plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9 my plus d we got to be minus 1 by 3 so substitute that also you get 1 by 3 okay guys so it's 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 which is uh, 2 by 3 so we get r to be root 2 by root 3 so this is the minimum radius of the sphere which passes through all those three points given so you need to be careful in this uh, like solving part and to find the minimum you can even find the minimum by taking the differentiated part of a quadratic and putting that to be zero and you get that value but instead of that i have explained this method because many people have no idea what this method is actually so just the reason i have explained in this method so we get u v w values just substitute them so in this con video we have learned the all the two main uh, this concepts like sphere formula as well as maxima minima concept so this is new maxima minimum like many people have no idea about that like forming a quadratic and then we can get the minimum directly and the second thing is sphere, sphere formula so i i hope you all enjoyed this video like this new concept so day after tomorrow again i'll be uh, posting a new question uh, interesting question you can even solve that give a try and then look out for the video solution thank you